according to GSP, he is a free agent and no longer has a contract with the UFC. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Right now, I'm on George St. Pierre's official verified Twitter account. Make sure you guys give him a follow. Now, he did an interview with MMAfighting.com, and he stated that, you hear it right, I'm a free agent. My lawyer terminated the contract with the UFC. So, that's big news, because GSP has been long rumored to make a comeback, and at one time, he was a huge star in the UFC, but he had a bit of a hiatus and sabbatical and disappeared from the limelight. And then you've seen other people emerge, other stars, Conor McGregor, Ronda Rousey got real big. And he's just been on the sidelines. And with him being a free agent, that's big. Bellator should try to hop on that because Bellator just recently acquired Rory McDonald, which was a big pickup for them. So to get, if they can get the money right and the finances to appease GSP to acquire an already established name like that, that would definitely be big for the Bellator roster since that's what you want to do in business. If it's Home Depot and Lowe's, you want to be competitive with your competition. You don't want to be getting blown out. And it's interesting. George St. Pierre, he works with Freddie Roach. He's in the wildcard gym. Great to meet and practice my Spanish with Jesus Cuellar, featherweight champion. And there's a picture of them together. So he works on his boxing with him. He's been out for a while. I've seen him in some movies. He's always in pretty good shape. I've seen him in, he's in the kickboxer movie, which I'm kind of mad that they even redid because the first one was classic. Knock su cow, knock su cow. Be like, oh, I break my leg like this. Bad. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so Van Damme's at least in it, so. I'll probably check it out. But I think he was in Captain America also. And he's in good shape. It's just a matter of him coming back. Now, what I heard is GSP is very hard to work with. I think I heard Dana White say it. He's very difficult. He wants all these demands. And you know what I mean? He's, he's like, he has all these, like, he knows he's a star. And he wants to use that. That's kind of what I heard. I think it was Dana White that said it. And... It is what it is. So according to GSP, they were trying to bring it back. He said he wanted to, to come back. He was the longest reigning welterweight champion in UFC history. And it was going to take some money to get him back there. And according to GSP, from what he's saying, they were close to reaching a deal. At first, they weren't anywhere near close to getting a, a deal done. And then they got really close. And then there was an offer made. But then the UFC just, they switched the ownership and they got bought out recently for billions of dollars. And I guess that former deal, the new ownership said, hey, we're not paying you that. That's that's off the table. You know what I mean? They got guys like Conor McGregor making money and stuff. So maybe they, they don't want to build back GSP, but he wanted to come back and fight Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler coming off the Tyron Woodley knockout. So he's taking a vacation, taking a break, probably spending time with the family. So I don't know what happened next. It could be one of two things. Maybe like a Bellator picks him up if they really can get the funds to appease him. And if the UFC, if he didn't like the UFC's offer, I don't know if the Bellator is going to break the bank for for GSP at this point. Just because he's been gone for a while, right? Even though he was a big name in the sport. But maybe they can. Or two, maybe this interview and stuff is a bit of hardball like hey i'm serious ufc if you don't cash me out and pay me what i want then i'm gonna be a free agent and maybe you know what i mean it could be a bit of a scare tactic we see this all the time in business where someone will play a little bit of hardball good cop bad cop kind of deal so i don't know what the situation is but if he is in in fact a free agent like i said bellator should pick him up it's a big sign and um it's kind of upsetting because right now there's a lot of names that he could fight in the UFC. UFC is clearly still the biggest in MMA. And there's a lot of good names for him to fight. Tyron Woodley, Wonderboy winner. There's a ton of good names. Some people even say Conor McGregor. Um, so I'll, I'll let you know if I hear anything else. But that's what it is. According to GSP, he is a free agent. And he's looking to come back into the cage, to the octagon. And let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.